life uh, finds a way. This is day one of us starting our sailing into the Atlantic Ocean. The boat is booting up and it's starting to make noises, so I think that's that means we're getting ready to leave Portugal. We are leaving the dock right now very, very, very slowly. For the next 10 days, I will be completely disconnected from everything. That means no phone calls, that means no internet, that means nothing. Well, this is our final few moments to say goodbye to dry land. And that's it, we're off, ladies and gentlemen. We're in that big open blue. So yesterday was very, very rocky. This is our first full morning in the Atlantic Ocean. I'm gonna try to show you guys what I do most of the time on the ship. So right now I'm about to head out to the gym and work out. This is our swanky little gym. Got a bunch of machines here. I mostly focus on using the punching bags and then I do a bunch of calisthenics workouts. Sometimes I use this and the dumbbells. And in here, we got a sweet little hot tub. And in here, we got a sauna. Ocean, and I'm bored so I'm gonna do something with this situation on my face let's see what happens hi it's me Pause that sappy stuff. We're all good. It's fun out here. So today we're supposed to be passing by a group of Portuguese islands called the Azores and I will be having breakfast in a little bit and then I'll be heading up to the bridge and trying to spot those islands. So why don't you guys come along with me? Because we have literally nothing better to do. Because we're on a ship in the middle of the ocean. Well, I came out to try to find the islands, but uh, the visibility is really low because it looks like we're about to head into a storm. That's going to be exciting, huh? Wow, everything is so dark. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's actually the islands are right there behind us right now. Wow, that is beautiful. Good morning. The whole boat is shaking. It's like 6 a.m. and there is a little storm here in the Atlantic Ocean. Holy bananas, that is a little scary, huh? Like we usually do on this channel when something's scary. Let's push it to the next limit. Let's, let's go on outside. Let's see what it looks like with our own two eyes. Whoa. really hope the camera can do the justice. Jeez, oh my God. What is happening right now? I don't know if you guys can see, the boat is literally going like above the horizon line. <laughs> All right, so these waves are a little bit too crazy for me to not get it on camera from the top. So I'm gonna head up to the bridge and see if we can get some cool shots for you fellas. <laughs>
to, to this way, whichever way that is. Hey class, I'm sorry, I'm real sick of this. Instead of going up and down today, the ship is deciding to roll, so we're going left and right. It has literally become impossible to do any simple task. I can't stand up, I can't look in the mirror, I can't even brush my teeth. I can't even pee standing up. I have to sit down when I pee, because if I stand up, I'm not gonna go further than that. Check this ship out, look, it's like the ship is drunk. It just can't, oh, uh, okay, we're gonna all fall over. So, day four at sea, what are we doing today? I've been wanting to try to give you guys a tour of the whole ship, but we've had really bad weather, so they're kind of reluctant in letting us out and everything. Our ship's clock will retire by one hour. I see again. Ship's clock will retire one hour tonight. Thank you. This is Derek Mintz, thank Ship. Let's get started. We're currently in the farthest back point of the ship. This is where they have very few cargo containers. Most of the hull is in the front of the ship. And the giant propellers are right there, making a giant whirlpool. So this is referred to, as my knowledge is, to the upper deck. It's basically the lowest point of the ship we can be on. This is the ship's office, where a lot of the business is handled. From here, we're gonna go to the engine room. table and chair. This is my chair, my table, and this is where the captain usually sits and the first officer. See, deck is where we have the gym, which you've already seen. So there ain't really much for us to see on the D or E deck, but on the F deck, where we live. So this is the hallway where the passengers live, and this right here is my room, called the super cargo. I will show you my room once again. We got a living room, I got this, and then here's a fridge and some foods and cabinets and a wonderfully amazing bathroom that is way too big for what I need and a huge bed with a bed that's bigger than the one I have in my own home. It's not a bad bargain. All right, now we're gonna head back up the stairs one more level to the G-Deck. The only real important thing on the G-Deck is the washing machine. And then going up one more floor to the last floor, which is the bridge where everything is overseen and the boat is actually being controlled from. front of the ship is right over here. Hey Clats, it's morning of day, I think, seven. Since the weather's calmed down, I just got authorization to hit to the front of the boat, to the bow. So as per regulation, I gotta wear my rinky-dinky little helmet when I'm walking through the cargo bay area, which is right here where all the cargo 
cargo containers are. And we've made it to the most forward part of the ship. This is where the anchors are. We have these amazing portholes right here where we can see the entire ocean. <laughs> I just spotted some flying fish. They're really tiny, so I'm gonna try to get them on camera, but check this out. this day in the most amazing way possible. Just like that, our final full day at the ocean has ended. So tomorrow night we're gonna be arriving in Freeport, Bahamas. From there we continue on to Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale. And then I will be leaving this beautiful ship. I think I'm gonna end this chapter here as this is our last full day in the ocean. It was definitely an eye-opening and emotional experience for me. And I will see you guys tomorrow when we do something else. <laughs> I'll love you a long time.